But first, we turn once again to the ever weak, frail, cognitive mess that is all things Joey Biden and Sippy Cup. Anyway, as cases of COVID-19 have sharply declined, thankfully, Americans, they're trying to make up for lost time, becoming more active than ever. <clears throat> By the way, don't hold your breath. They'll never give President Trump credit for Operation Warp Speed. Uh, no, power-hungry Democrats, the corrupt media mob, they're not capable of it. Don't hold your breath. And meanwhile, well, Sippy Cup Joe is um, not very active. Very few public events, an extremely early bedtime, constant weekend trips to Delaware, we assume sleeping, and Joe seems unwilling and unable and incapable of rising to the occasion. This is getting to be a real, clear, obvious danger. And now we have, with the pandemic waning, Joe's running out of excuses. The media mob trying to put a spin on Biden's obvious struggles. Americans, we, we can see with our own eyes what's happening. Remember, fake news CNN, they first described Sippy Cup as an early to bed type who enjoys a warm fire in the Oval Office fireplace. Then last week, the New York Toilet Paper Times reporting that Biden is prone to outbursts. He's very moody, gets very confused by acronyms, and needs extensive preparation for any public event. And then today, the Washington Post, even they admitted, quote, Biden's public schedule can seem notably light compared to his predecessors. And then, quote, a lid, meaning no public activities, that's often called very early in the day. As a very light workload, we should all be so lucky. And the Post revealing that Biden heads to his private residence all around six or seven to begin his Betty time routine, which I assume involves warm cookies, warm milky, and a sippy cup, and maybe if he's good, a night night story. And of course, the Washington Post attempted to whitewash all of this by highlighting Biden's alleged weightlifting routine. All right, let's take a look at this. Joe pumping iron. All right, you go, Joe. Good, good, Joe. Very good job, Joey. Anyway, the only problem is that video. That's from six years ago in 2015. And tonight, it's extremely doubtful that Joe is capable of such a routine. Remember, we were the ones that told you, you know, we were told by everybody that the wind blew him over three times. It was very windy days. He was climbing the stairs to Air Force One. Not once, not twice, but three times. The wind blew him over. Very windy day. According to Press Secretary Jen Circleback Saki, Biden, well, has so much energy and vigor, she claims she can barely keep up with Joe. Wow. Take a look. What more can you tell us about the uh, president's um, health regime? We hear he's lifting weights. What sort of weights is he lifting? Does he have a personal trainer? And what happened to his Peloton bike? Did he bring it to the, to the White House? Uh, I didn't know where this was going, um, but I'm intrigued by it. Um, I, I will say I have nothing to read out on the president's uh, private exercise regime, uh, but I can tell you, having traveled with him a fair amount, um, sometimes he's hard to keep up with. Really, Jen? That might be the biggest lie from the White House ever. Uh, you must be in serious decline because, Jen, um, no American would have a tough time keeping up with Joe's schedule. Clearly, what we see today is not the same Joe Biden of 2008, 2012, even 2016. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. As our old friend, the great sportscaster, Warner Wolf, would always say, let's go to the videotape. You decide in our bilateral relationships with nations with whom we deal and have serious trade deficits, we have to be willing to put more cards on the table. Now they got a new plan. Trust me, it's not going to cost you any more. Folks, follow your instincts on this one. They put one foot in front of the other. They keep going. That's the unbreakable spirit of the people of America. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go. You know the you know the thing. I want to thank the the, the uh, former general. I keep calling him general. But my my uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Visit vaccines.gov.gov vaccines.gov or text to your text your zip code to four three eight eight two nine. Yeah, Putin, President Xi, Kim Jong-un, the mullahs in Iran, they see what you see. 
not good. Joe now has trouble remembering names and dates. He struggles with complex details. He often loses his train of thought mid-sentence, quickly now becoming irritable, and at times it appears that Sippy Cup is having trouble even walking. And listen to this from the Washington Post, quote, Senator Chris Coons, longtime Biden confidant, said that Biden in meetings just crosses his arms, puts his chin in his hand, and then just listens. I don't know exactly who is steering the ship, but it's not that guy, and it's obviously not going well, and they're trying to hide it from the rest of the world, but we can see through it. Look at the country in just a few short months. Inflation, 4.2 percent, the highest in 13 years. Steel, that's up a whopping 30 percent. Copper, 32 percent. Lumber, Great. You want to buy a two by four? You're paying now 130% more than you were last year. Poultry, beef, consumption of any food and that you buy at any grocery store, any drug store, you are paying more for everything. Oil and gas on the way up. That means everything that's trucked to every location where you shop. Guess what? They're passing that on to you. Corporates, corporations, they don't pay taxes. You will pay the new taxes there, too. Everything we now buy, everything you buy is more expensive. Look at Forbes. 83% of Americans now tightening their belts because of Joe's inflation. Also, a crisis in America's major cities. After handing out get-out-of-jail-free cards with the so-called bail reform, defunding and talking about dismantling police, well, there's now a major crime wave all across the country. Now, this weekend, typical weekend in Chicago, 54 people were shot, 12 killed. Shootings are up 36 percent from their record last year in the Windy City. That didn't stop Chicago from releasing 94 people charged with murder. They let them back out on the streets. Now, since Biden took office, America has now become more dangerous, a lot more expensive, and a lot less secure, as our enemies and countries that hate our guts are taking full advantage. And some never Trump or Republicans, well, apparently they still prefer Sippy Cup Joe. Peggy Noonan, nice lady. She's giving a speech at the Reagan Library, an event called A Time for Choosing. Well, I'm assuming here she's going to try to move the Republican Party away from President Trump, the MAGA agenda, the America First agenda. Peggy, respectfully, the America First agenda, the Make America Great Again agenda, will be the Republican Party agenda, or old establishment political candidates will be defeated. That's my prediction. I know you're a never-Trumper, but it's really not complicated. And I'm a registered conservative. But if the GOP wants to win, they want to win elections, they need to be the party of liberty, freedom, capitalism, and our Constitution. That's simple. That includes the First Amendment and the Second Amendment. The party of GOP needs to be the party of low taxes, limited government. Why? So businesses can thrive and prosper and hire people, not government bureaucrats. We need to be the party of school choice so our children can compete in the global economy. All children not just the ones fortunate enough to be born into privilege or be born in a red state where they'll do much better. Now, of course, the Republican Party, if they want to win, they've got to offer free market solutions for health care. That includes and protects pre-existing conditions. Republican Party, if they're to win, they've got to be putting constitutionalists on the bench, not judicial activists. They've got to be the party that restores law and order so every American can pursue happiness and safety and security, secure the border, the party of energy independence, free and fair trade, peace through strength. That's the agenda, Peggy. Are you a conservative or not? You really don't need to write a long speech here. Anyway, maybe you want to help out, oh, Joe Biden and the New Green Deal socialists. Well, or maybe you can stick with Joe or stick with the 75 million people that believe in America first. Now, you're right, it is a time for choosing. And that agenda I laid out is the conservative agenda that works for the American people. The Republican Party, if they want to be relevant, that's the agenda. That's the agenda I choose, and I believe that's the agenda most Americans will choose. Now, you're always free to vote for the socialists, like Joe Biden and the squad, uh, or you can join other never-Trump Republicans and pick up your toys, throw a tantrum, stay home, or run an establishment figure that just helps people like Joe get elected. 
That's your choice. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.